Um, for us, it will be, again, the local market in the retail business. You have many uh, people that are going uh, just graduating from their university, joining the government or the private sector. And these are the Kuwaiti young generation. And these are based on your, the salary level. So you are getting a customer with you for a full packaging. So he will start with you for banking, saving accounts. He has the salary account. He will start after a few months maybe thinking about getting married or building up his family or needing for small, middle-sized enterprise kind of a business. So at the end of the day, if you can attract him, he will be with you from the starting point, and you can develop that in the future with them. So that's the target market. And I'm sure many banks in Kuwait are doing the same. Um, it's the customer service will make the difference between, of course, one bank and the other. Um, there are the foreigners also, but there are certain criteria that we put, of course, on the lending for uh, foreign uh, nationalities or the people who are non-Kuwaitis. You have the mega projects, as we said. You have lending in the corporate side. You have the construction and contracting business, which is part of the normal business that we have in Kuwait, but also, in addition, it's linked to the development plan. So the projects coming will have the construction and contracting, the bidding taking place among the contractors, which can be having a consortium of the Kuwaiti local companies and the foreign companies. We have seen that in many occasions. So it's not only purely, I'm a local company, so I go for a bidding. You might go to Turkey to get another partner with you who is very good in that kind of field, like road building or um, expansion in the uh, airport uh, for the plans, or in certain areas related to the oil refinery or the gas uh, gathering centers. So it depends what kind of business you are in. A Korean company can have with them a local partner. So that business will continue, hopefully, to be there, maybe on a smaller scale. NPLs, non-performing loans and provisions, many banks have already nearly cleaned, cleaned their balance sheet, if you look at it. Our bank has passed through that process, and now our NPL is below 1%. It used to be in the 20s level. That was five years back. So each bank has gone through that kind of process. Some Banks have gone so speedy, and, and others have taken it. But there are certain regulations, of course, that control, at the end, the system through the central bank and the regulatory authorities.